back. So if these guys want to support them, that's on you. I'm not going to, but I just bought the Pelicans here. I'm just here to let you guys know that I was the creator of this new channel that you have been watching, the JK Gamers Archive channel. So if you guys want to subscribe to this channel, <laughs> What's up everybody? Welcome to my channel and welcome to my video. I'm Destroyers and in today's video I'm just going to hop right into this shit. Um, there's just certain types of hypocritical shit that I just cannot take. Um, everybody's hypocritical to a certain point I suppose, but there's just certain types like I said I just can't take. And Ozzy, as I, you saw in the first video, Ozzy saying he doesn't support the family, but then he creates a video or basically a channel that's dedicated to JK gamers where he basically makes fun of him and kind of implies some creepy stuff in some of the videos and stuff. And it's just, like I said, it's kind of hypocritical and just like borderlining creepy, honestly, uh, especially coming from him. He was um, one of JK gamers uh, largest financial supporters for a certain time um you know of course the facts haven't come out in the case yet and jk hasn't been proven guilty in a court of law but there's of course a chance that we all could have helped jk uh, gamers live a lifestyle um, that allowed him to commit these crimes so some of us you know should feel bad me being one of them um, and definitely aussie pelicans for sure being one of the people, again, one of his largest financial supporters. And that came straight from JK. He told me that in party chat um, about a year ago. Um, so, you know, you should kind of feel a little bad, Ozzy. <laughs> we could have possibly helped JK do some bad things. Um, so until the facts come out, you know, we should be kind of reserved about JK gamers. Uh, especially some of us, you know, that really supported him, like me. Um, I, I, you know, I carried a membership to his channel. I donated to him, I don't know how many times. Um, you know, I made videos defending him on my channel, um, to which I've privatized. Um, but, you know, again, I, again, feel guilt because I could have possibly helped JK unwittingly, um, of course, but I could have helped JK live a lifestyle that that he could have possibly committed the crimes if he's, you know, convicted in a court of law again. Um, so I just kind of wanted to call Ozzy out for that because it's kind of weird. And it, honestly, he kind of puts up a video of Eliza on there and it's just, it's kind of borderline and creepy the way that he does it because he's kind of implying something there. And, and you know, uh, Phoenix straight up said on a stream it wasn't one of their kids. Um, it was an, it was an outside family member, so she pretty much flat out says it. Um, so I mean, there's your evidence right there. Um, but of course, he didn't know that at the time that he put that up. None of us knew that she hadn't streamed that yet. But still, he was kind of implying some creepy stuff, which really he shouldn't be doing because again he was one of their he was one of jk's biggest supporters so i just found the fact that he created that channel to be incredibly hypocritical of course he did it just for views of course but again him doing it is also borderlining creepy so um and also i wanted to touch base on something else um a few people of course felt the same way that i did felt it was kind of you know kind of creepy and just kind of douchey um, that he created the channel and you'll see in this uh, next little clip I'm going to show you somebody you know widely you know spoke out about it uh, well many people did but he was one of the bigger ones that uh, spoke out about his feelings about Ozzy creating the channel and um, here's Ozzy's response to that FFLW who is talking shit in my comments. Look bro, you can talk shit if you want, but I'm calling you out for a 1v1 right now. You can either duck or not duck, and that will establish what type of person you are. So I'm calling you out for a 1v1. You've got 24 hours to accept this 1v1 on Xbox, RNG, no explosives, rifles only. Otherwise, 
I know what type of person you are. Either do the 1v1, or stop putting shit talking comments in people's videos, because you're gonna get videos coming up like this of people offering you out for a 1v1. And that 1v1 that you gonna have to accept, otherwise you're a pussy, is gonna say like what type of person you are. And if you lose this 1v1, we know you're trash at this game, bro. So just freaking accept it. Okay, I know what I sound like, guys. You know I sound like a, you know, a troll right now or a toxic fucker. But I wouldn't have made this video if it wasn't for FFLW putting this toxic comment in my video. If he didn't want to freaking, if he doesn't like the video in general, in total, like he shouldn't have commented. It, but after he commented on that, I'm calling this guy out for a one v one. And whoever wins can feel the glory, and whoever loses. Is a true trash person, so I'm calling you at FFLW. Respond now. Okay, we've. Seen so yeah, that was his response to that, which I don't really understand, like at all. Um, I don't see how uh, a fucking one v one in GTA Online is going to solve a morality issue of the creation of the channel and the content in it or any morality issue for that matter the game has nothing to fucking do with it i can see why you deleted that video and a lot of others like it because you look really fucking stupid in that clip back there really fucking stupid but i've said my piece on ozzy and that's just kind of how i feel about it um and i'd also like to address another issue um, in this video, um, basically, um, I'd like to address something that Asura said in his video. Um, I'd like to touch base on it. He basically kind of um, called out people that are complaining about memes made about JK and his kids. Um, well, a lot of the complaining is normally the ones that were directed towards the kids uh number one you're wrong on that fact it wasn't one of their kids but still that really shouldn't matter um, a kid was still hurt so a lot of people invested into that family um, are not going to find the fucking jokes funny no matter how many times you put them up um, especially right after that fact so we're sorry that you don't get that astura but you're just going to have to forgive us if a small portion of the community just doesn't find that funny because we were invested in that family and we thought that, you know, he was hurting them, you know, or just any kid in general is just not okay. So some of us just aren't going to find it funny as you do. But I'm going to go ahead and play um, what Astura said in his video so you can understand what I'm responding to and um, I'm also going to play um, Phoenix, uh, Phoenix her response to uh, these kind of memes as well um, you're going to hear just about the same thing that you're hearing from me um, she feels the same way um, those are her kids they don't find it funny Astura sorry as with anything like this, people have begun to meme on JK, which I say is fair enough. People like this should honestly be ridiculed. But of course, a few other people are saying that memes and joking about JK shouldn't be allowed because he has a family, amongst other reasons. And to that I say, if we're not allowed to ridicule and make fun of the worst dregs of our society, some of the worst people doing the worst things because they have a family, then who can we make fun of exactly? Take EDP for example, can we not make fun of him? I mean, he has a family. What about the likes of Linemaker and other notorious predators that have been exposed on YouTube? I mean, they have families. C can we joke about them? I mean, I mean, we can take this absolutely further. What about all the tryhards you make fun of on GTA Online for playing like, like a rat? I'm pretty sure they have families too, right? Yeah, I I'm pretty sure you've all made fun of them. I mean, I've been made fun of for various things by some of you. I have a family. You've, you've made fun of people like Loki Extra and Past Beef. Wait, do doesn't he have a family? This is a clear example of a hypocritical standard that can and will never be met consistently by these people, despite pushing for it so hard in this scenario. And they're only likely applying it for Jake because they have supported or continue to support him. Everyone you've ever made fun of in your life has had a family. Uh, 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 just to point it out, I bet those people are far less deserving of being made fun of than someone who has been charged with nine counts of sexual assault against a minor. 
and in those other instances where you made fun of someone with a family, you likely thought it was okay. But when people make fun of someone actually massively deserving of being made fun of, you somehow take issue with it. This is an awful point. Stop making it and stop inadvertently defending JK's pride and honor. He doesn't deserve it. Thank you, Taya. I'll keep that in mind. Um, I've been debating. I don't know if I want to do anything with the kids on here. Just because, like, I've already seen what now, like, I've seen before what people do with, like, images of my children. Um, and especially after this, like, some of y'all are really twisted and sick. Um, to be making videos like that about my kids. Like, you're awful human beings. That's all I can say. Um, so yeah, I, I am not sure if I'm going to do any videos with the kids just because I want to protect them from the crazy people online. Um, there's a lot of you, <laughs> like, m not you guys specifically, but there's a lot of, a lot of really crazy people in the world. Um, so like it's, it's, you should become a part-time streamer. And there you go. Um, you, as you can see, um, some of the memes just aren't funny to certain people because we were invested in the family, especially not to the mother. She doesn't find it funny. Um, so it's not a horrible point. So um, there you go. You want somebody to completely explain it to you in a way that you'll understand. There you go. Hopefully you understand. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, that's all for my little rant, but one little thing before I go, um, since some of you guys don't find the memes about uh, JK and his kids funny, I do have a meme that you guys will most definitely find funny, and uh, I'm going to let you guys see that before I go, but uh, until next time, you guys stay safe and have a good one, and uh, we'll see you next time.